the whole vegetation of the earth, or a large proportion of it, is dependent on bees. So if suddenly bees disappeared, things would be pretty dismal pretty fast. We're all looking for new solutions. Many of these problems that we've acquired in the last few years are so new that you know, full-on science doesn't have the answers for us yet. The only way we can really make any headway in dealing with those problems is by learning about them. Disappearing disease. It's a syndrome the bees get where the bees appear to, over a very short period of time, the whole colony gets very weak, the bees are dying, and then suddenly they just all disappear, literally. The fact that bees are having so many problems at a time when other aspects of our environment are suffering as well, it's kind of, it's kind of linked. You can't do beekeeping out of a, a handbook or a weekend class anymore. You really have to have experience. You have to work with experienced beekeepers. You know, if and when things improve for the bees, you know, it is going to be because of smart young people with really good ideas. We are monitoring mites in the hive, so we count them on the sticky boards that is in the bottom of every hive. And then we also count using a sugar shaker method. The powdered sugar knocks the mites off of the bees, and then they eat the sugar once we put them back into the hive. 20 years ago, we were pouring pesticides into hives because we were scared to death of the mites. Now we're realizing that was kind of foolish because we're still suffering negative consequences from that. And in any case, the mites that were the target organisms have gotten resistant to those pesticides. They don't even work anymore for the most part. We are using non-chemical mite treatments, HopGuard and Apolife, which have herbal extracts in them. And so by doing that, we're gonna try and find some answers to what method might be the best way for treating mites. The wax industry associated with honeybees is all one big, amalgamated activity. So the wax that was contaminated with the pesticides eventually gets back into the bees. It's vitally important because the bees rear their young in this wax. I mean, ultimately, it's, it's what they live in. One of the projects that we're working on is trying to find ways to locally purify small batches of wax. This is a solar wax melter. It uses the sun to melt wax out of honeycomb so that we can take that wax and process it and try to come up with ways to purify it. Working with bees to try to help realize and solve their problems is, is kind of a window onto the human condition in general. Taking care of bees is basically taking care of ourselves. Mm -hmm.